guys welcome to the channel in this particular video i will explain the problem first non repeating character in a string so the problem is again a standard dsc problem and asked by a lot of companies like amazon microsoft flipkart etc so without any further delay let me start with the problem statement it says that you are given an input string a of n character consisting only of lower case alphabet while reading the characters from the string you have to tell which character has appeared only once in the string up to that point right so i am concerned about the character which is appearing only once and if there are many characters that have appeared only once then you have to tell which one of them was first one to appear right and after this if there is no such character then you have to simply append hash to the answer now one example is given here let me explain the problem with the given example so i have got a string which is a a b c and for this stream the first step is to read out the whole stream right and while reading the stream uh, let's say i am at the point i so i have to tell from 0 to i which was the character which is appearing only once right and when i say appearing only once then it's actually talking about the frequency so i have to tell which is the character which is having frequency 1 i hope you understand this so now let me start with uh, the zeroth index so this is the first point right and till this point i will have a having frequency 1 so see i have got one element which is having frequency 1 for the zeroth index so i'll simply append a to the answer after this i'll come to the first index and for this index you can see that i have got a two times right and i don't have any other character which is having frequency 1 so i'll simply append hash to the answer because if there is no such character then simply append hash after this i'll come to the third uh, point right which is the second index so till this point i will have a two times and b one times right so you can see that i have got one character which is having frequency 1 or which is appearing only once so i'll simply append b to the answer after this i'll come to the last index and till the last index i have got a two times b one times and then c one times right this is very interesting point at this point you can see that we have got two elements which is having frequency 1 right so whenever we have to multiple elements that have a, that have frequency 1 in that case we have to uh, like append to the answer the element which was first one to appear right so which is the first one to appear in the string the character b right you can see that b was the first one to appear before c so i'll simply append b to the answer again this is the answer or uh, this is the solution for the given example i hope you you have understood the problem statement well so let's talk about the solution now okay so i have written the same example as given in the problem statement and first thing that i want you to observe is this particular thing right we are going to use a map in order to keep track of frequency of each element because appearing only one simply means we are talking about the frequency of element right so this is the first observation now according to the problem we have to traverse the whole stream right this is the first step and the second thing that we have observed is we have to store the frequency of each element so let's do it for i equals to 0 and then i smaller than n and then i plus plus this is how we can read out the whole stream right and inside this loop the first step is to store the value in the map so i'll simply write store store a uh, string of i in map or i'll say frequency array now there is a difference between frequency array and map the difference is both are uh, used to perform the same task but the only difference is in map we uh, doesn't allocate the space to any character right and in the frequency array we initially allocate the value 0 to every character right every possible character so how many possible character are in this particular uh, like stream so you can see that the stream consists only of the lower case character and we have total 26 lower case character so we are going to use a frequency array of size 26 for this particular solution right so i am simply storing the character in the frequency array now once you have stored the character then the question is how to get the character which is having frequency 1 right so i can simply traverse the stream let's say i am at uh, index i right let's say i am at index i uh, which is the last index so what values will be the map storing till this point so i i will have a two times then b one times then c one times right the approach is i will simply start one more loop from 0 to i from 0 to i and inside this loop i'll simply check uh, which is the first character which have the frequency 1 so i'll start with this a this is the least index right is this a having frequency 1 no again i have a is a having frequency 1 no 
again i have b after this i have b now and b is having frequency 1 right so the moment i got an element with frequency 1 i'll simply apply break immediately after the that point but you will say hey we have one more element which is frequency 1 then why you are not uh, considering that element so the answer is see i'm starting from the least index right and the index the, uh, the element that i'm getting is the first one to appear and i have to only consider the element which is first one to appear i hope you understand this let me write the code and this will get more clear to you so i'll start a loop from j equals to 0 to j smaller than i right and okay j smaller than even equal to i so inside this loop what i will do is i'll check if the frequency of the current element is equal to 1 at that point okay i'll not write i'll write simply here a stream of i right if the frequency of stream of i is equal to 1 at that point i have got the element with frequency 1 right so i'll say that ch equals to the current element and after this simply apply a break right simply apply break okay now what is ch here so i have to initialize the ch here with initial value as hash right and at last i will have my character that i have to append to the answer so if my answer is equal to uh, like empty string initially then i have to append the answer each time i got uh, like the ith iteration right so this way i can get the answer when this particular loop completes so this is the first approach that we have and talking about the complexity so the first loop runs of n times and the second loop again runs similar to of n times right so the complexity of this approach is going to be o of n square now this particular complexity uh, like this particular code is not going to work for large groups right whenever we have a complexity of o of n square so we have to optimize it now what optimization we can do in this code the first thing that i want you to notice is uh, this loop is a must right because we have to uh, traverse the whole stream in every condition the second thing is we have to store the value in the map the only optimization that we can do in at this particular place right we have o of n loop here can we optimize this so i have one interesting optimization for this particular loop let's see okay so before this uh, let me remove the extra stuff here so that i can get uh, some more space to explain right so let me remove this and see we have got one approach so we can call it a naive approach right because this is the first approach that came to your mind and after this we are going to talk about an optimal approach here right so let's see what optimization that we can do now uh, the optimization that i have is uh, let's say i'm at this particular index this is the i index right what are the values in the map so i have got a two times then b one times then i've got c one times right so one thing that i want you to observe is instead of traversing from zero to i i can traverse this uh, map as well right this frequency array as well because the frequency array can also tell me the element which is having frequency 1 because if I uh, uh, like traverse the frequency map then I can check if the uh, value is equal to 1 right let me explain how I can do this so I can start a loop from i equals to 0 and i smaller than 26 why 26 because the maximum size of this frequency array is 26 after this I can simply check if my frequency if my frequency is uh, like equal frequency of i is equal to uh, okay one in that case i can simply say that character is my answer right so character is my answer which character the current uh, character which is i so i plus a this is how we convert a number to a character but there is a problem after this i can simply apply break right after that i can simply apply break and now there is a problem with this approach so first of all let me convert this i to j right because we are already using i in this loop so let me write j here and now we have to replace this particular code with this code right and this way we can get the complexity of o of n cross 26 but there is a problem with this approach so let's see what is the problem and then we will talk about the solution to that problem right so i have written one example here and let's say i'm at the last index i so these are the value that map will be storing right and if we start uh, if you try to run this particular loop for this particular uh, value of okay so let's say this is j right because i am using i for this loop so if i start this particular loop then it is going to stop at b equal to 1 right so this will say that hey b is the answer for the la last iteration but this is incorrect this is incorrect because you can see that we have multiple elements with frequency 1 and out of those 
C should be my answer because C is the first one to appear. So the problem with this approach is I'm not able to determine that uh, which element is the first one to appear, right? Or there is no guarantee that the first element that we are getting is the first element uh, in the tree which is having frequency one, right? I hope you understand the problem with this approach. So now let's talk about how we can solve this particular problem. So now the title is how to get the first value with frequency one, right? And I have written one example here and see, I have written one line. It says that in order to solve the problem, we can keep track of the first index of occurrence of each character. Why this? I'm doing this because once I have stored the first occurrence, uh, like first index of occurrence of each character, then I can simply get the first character, uh, like out of multiple character, let's say I have C and B. So I can simply get which is the first one to appear, right? Simply getting uh, the first index of occurrence of that particular character. I hope you understand this. So for A, I have the first index of occurrence as 0. After this for C, I have got the first index of occurrence as uh, like Okay, what is the first index of occurrence which is 2, right? After this for B, I have got the first index of occurrence as 3. So once I have got this array, then I can simply use this array in order to get uh, the first index of occurrence. How we can do this? We can simply uh, like traverse this whole array and we can find the minimum value, right? So this is the code that we are going to use. And now you can see that I have to find the minimum value. So I'm initializing the min variable with the max value, right? After this, I am running the loop and let's say I have got one element which is having frequency 1. So I'll check one more thing that is this the minimum element, right? Is this the first element to appear? So this is how we can check and when this loop complete, then I will surely have the first uh, like element which is having frequency 1. Once you have done this, once you have done this, so you can simply replace this particular code with the code that we have got in the first approach, right? So let me show you that code. Okay, so this is the code, right? We can simply replace that particular code with this code. Now, I hope you have understood the approach. The time complexity is O of n cross 26 and the space complexity is O of 26, right? Now, let me show you the code. Okay, so this is the code. You can see that I have written the C++ code on the left hand side and Java and Python code on the right hand side, right? So you can see that first of all I am making this particular array which is the first array this is going to store the first index of occurrence of each character right and after this we are simply going to read out the string and then we are first uh, like updating the values in the first uh, like this particular array which is the first index of first occurrence right and after this I am storing the value in the max then I am in doing this particular task right. So this is how we can solve the problem the code is similar uh, in every particular language the only difference is of index right. So you can see that I have got the same code in Python as well. Now I hope you have understood the problem statement and if you guys like the explanation then you can hit the like button. Thank you.